What's up, Vikes? I'm Kylie, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. D&D will have an informational meeting tomorrow during activity period. Any student interested in participating should attend. SEMA at FCCLA will be hosting a veterans donation drive this week through Friday. All proceeds will be donated to the Veterans Community Project. Bring any food pantry, snack items, and hygiene products to your CLP. The library got a new copier. I went and talked to Ms. Esser to find out more. Alright, so the library got a new printer. What do students need to know about it? Students need to know that they need to install the SHS library copier uh, from self-service. There is a video on Schoology that not only shows you how to add the copy machine, but it also shows you how to get rid of all of those printers from middle school that you don't have access to or use anymore. All right, Bikes, make sure you go and check that out. Applications are being accepted now through Friday for students interested in participating in the Job Shadow Experience. If you have any questions, please stop by Mrs. Noble's office in the Career and Life Planning Center. The high school theater department did really well this weekend with several students qualifying for nationals. Good job, Bikes. Now to sports after this quick commercial break. What should you bring, you might ask? Food pantries, meal boxes, hygiene kits, and also snack bags. Join FCCLA from January 13th to 17th during CALP for our Veterans Community Project to help our veterans. There's an epidemic spreading. Scientists say it can change your brain. It can release dangerous chemicals like formaldehyde into your bloodstream. It can expose your lungs to acrolein, which can cause irreversible damage. It's not a parasite, not a virus, not an infection. It's vaping. The basketball teams played at Junction City last night. Unfortunately, the boys lost, while the girls won, making their record 6-0. The Vicette Dance Team will be hosting a fundraiser at the pad on January 21st. Make sure to go and support. Now to Josh to find out and, to find out and see if there's a chance for a three-day weekend. Well, we already have a three-day weekend, but is there a chance we can make it four? We'll find out here in just a second. For the rest of today, we're dealing with falling temperatures. We reached 48 degrees this morning, but check this out by 3 o'clock, already down to 42. The good news is that the cloud cover will start to break up through the rest of the afternoon and into the evening. So by 5 o'clock, probably a mostly sunny sky. Very cold, though, 37, and quickly falling temperatures already down to 31 by seven o'clock this evening. Let's go ahead and talk about that chance for some wintry weather. Tomorrow is dry, but as we head later toward tomorrow evening, you'll start to see, see the first signs of precipitation developing in southwestern Kansas. That will move east overnight by midnight, reaching central Kansas, probably still dry here in Topeka around midnight, but shortly thereafter, we do expect to see a wave of moisture enter the eastern portions of the state. And check this out. It's once again a swirl of colors. So we're talking about anything from a brief period of snow and then especially sleet and freezing rain. Overall, pretty messy as we head late Thursday night into early Friday. Then, regardless of how long the precipitation lasts, we will end as a little bit of rain. Here's a picture by noon. I think this could linger a little bit longer than that, probably into the afternoon. We'll see some just plain old rain. Here's the seven-day forecast. You can see 
Overall, it's a cooler pattern, but especially once we get to Sunday and Monday, temperatures highs in the 20s at that point, and then perhaps rebounding slightly to 31 degrees by Tuesday. Kylie, back to you. Thanks, Josh. Tomorrow we find out how people dress up their pets for pet dress up day. Have a good day, Vikes. Thank you.